welcome to this video about moons and atmospheres. And what I want to have a look at is how many moons do we know that actually have atmospheres around them? Well, before we look at the moons, it's probably worth noting that not all of the planets in our solar system have an atmosphere. So Mercury is quite a small planet. It's very close to the sun and it actually doesn't have a thick atmosphere uh, like most of the other actual planets. In fact, it has more of a, an exosphere, which is a very, very thin atmosphere. And it's called an exosphere because it's so thin and tenuous, the particles or the molecules in the atmosphere don't collide. So the density is quite low. And because it's so close to the sun, it's typically shaped and molded by the solar wind, as you can kind of see here. But that's Mercury. So what moons actually have atmospheres then? So the four Galilean moons around Jupiter all have atmospheres. So starting from closest in, you've got Io, Europa, um, Ganymede, and then Callisto, and they all have atmospheres, varying thicknesses and, and degrees of atmosphere, but they all have an atmosphere around them. So four of Jupiters we know have atmospheres. You also have four around Saturn that have an atmosphere. So you've got Titan, Theon, Enceladus, and Rhea. Now they all have atmospheres. You can see actually with Titan, it's a bit more obvious there because it's quite a hazy and thick atmosphere that it has, but four of Saturn's have atmospheres as well. Now, Titania around Uranus also has um, a fairly thin atmosphere. So one of Uranus's has an atmosphere, and then one around Neptune also has an atmosphere, which is Triton. However, we also have a bit of an atmosphere around the moon. It's not a very large atmosphere. It's again, it's quite tenuous, very thin, but it does have um, some atmosphere there around it. So we, we've included quite a few moons there that actually have an atmosphere, but only three of them have got a significant enough atmosphere where the gas molecules can actually collide. So the density of their atmosphere is enough that particles and gas molecules there can actually collide with one another. All the other ones, they're actually quite thin and they, they're not colliding, so it's, it's kind of collisionless. So the three that actually have a significant atmosphere are Titan, Triton, and Io. The one around Saturn, one around Neptune, and one around Jupiter all have a significant atmosphere. So with Titan, this has the most significant atmosphere out of all of them. It has about 95% nitrogen and 5% methane atmosphere. And you can see from the images, it's quite hazy. It's reasonably thick, actually, thick enough that we can't see the surface through it. And then the next one down is Triton around Neptune. And Triton and Pluto are actually quite similar. And they're very similar objects, actually. So they have a very similar composition. They come from similar locations. And the image here is actually of Pluto. But you can see the atmosphere here. And it's a very tenuous nitrogen atmosphere. But because they're quite similar, we expect a similar sort of image from Triton. Now, the reason why it's got a nitrogen atmosphere like this is it has quite a lot of cryovolcanoes on. So again, Triton and Pluto have these cryovolcanoes where they're spewing out kind of um, frozen nitrogen and that contributes to their atmospheres. And then you have Io. So Io is very close to Jupiter. It's actually a volcanic world or volcanic moon. And you can see at the top there, you've got this blue volcano er erupting and, and sending the material off out into space onto the surface of the moon. And those volcanoes on Io actually contribute a sulfur dioxide to the atmosphere. So it has a very tenuous sulfur dioxide atmosphere, Io. So it has a very different composition to the other moons because it's a very volcanic moon. And it's, vol it's very volcanic because it's close to Jupiter and Jupiter's tides kind of distort it and pull it in tidally heated, which causes those volcanoes. So thank you for watching. And if you enjoy, then check out some of the other videos.